Hi, I hope I'm recording. This is Victoria Arnstein, and I just want to give you a an update of how I'm doing on my raw food, low-fat, raw vegan diet. Anyway, I'm doing great. I actually made the choice to change my ways. I made the choice because that's the only way to change. That's the only way to change. You could... Um, change and then your body will go through the motions and then your mind's not in it not happening anyway i want to give you a before and after photo not an after photo because this is the after but i want to give you a before picture of me so scary and i can't believe i'm risking everything by showing this to you but keep in mind i was not raw i was on no diet and it was right after my second child's birth um, a few months later actually and um, I had two babies in one year I'm not making excuses because you know you could see all the celebrities lose it in about 10 minutes but I didn't and I chose to eat and it was dairy and meat and everything else that my mother-in-law told me I needed because you know I have to like be strong for my two babies here goes <laughs> can you see it <laughs> Is that freaky? Oh my god. It's so... Oh. Could you see that? Anyway, that was me. And now, this is me. You can see the face is changed. I'm not showing you my body. I'm not, I'm not going to put on a bikini like that chick that did it. Inspire to act. I'm not doing that. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, um... I hate saying um, and I keep doing that. So, you can do this. Raw food is definitely energizing and definitely healing. I mean, it helps you heal, your body heal. Your body knows what it's doing, it will heal itself, but your body won't have anything extra to stop itself and work on, you know, uh, it wor works on healing the stuff that it needs to. And what happens is, when you eat cooked food or anything that's uh, heavy duty, your body has to stop what it's doing and work on whatever you just put in your body. So it's, up, ah, everybody stop. Stop everything. I got to just, you know, work on this now. And uh, construction goes on and all that other stuff. And then you find yourself tired and lethargic and brain foggy. And you can't function the right way. And Anyway, you notice all this stuff when you hit a certain age. You don't really notice this in the beginning. So you don't think that at 18 this is going to happen to you. It's going to happen to you. Okay? Keep eating pizza. Keep eating pasta. Keep eating cheese and meat and any other dairy products and see what happens later. I'm going to be 40 March. What time? What, now, what is it now? It's January 2010. I'm going to be 40 years old. 40! I'm bugging out. Anyway, 40 years old, and I'm telling you, I noticed stuff happening, changes, um, since I'm like 35. So it's five years now. And it just gets worse and worse when you when you go off uh, raw foods. And then when you get back on raw foods, you got to detox all over again. Who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? I didn't want to do it, but I did it. Because I said, oh, let me try one more time. Just one more time. And any time you cheat, it's premeditated. Even if it's just subconscious level. It's, pre it's premeditated. Cut the crap. You know it's premeditated. You know, you tell yourself, okay, today's the day. I'm not going to eat anything at that dinner tonight. When I go to that dinner, I am just going to eat whatever I'm supposed to eat. Okay. So why'd you cheat? What happened there? Well, it's not so bad. It's one night. I can have one more. It's not so bad. And um, a few hours later, you're crying to your husband saying, why did I do that? I feel like crap. Or four hours later in the middle of the night, you're up because you can't sleep because you're sweating profusely from all the detoxing that you're doing because your body's trying to get rid of it the best way it knows how, and that's by sweating. You know, it's up to you. You know, you want it. You want to live a good, healthy life. You go on raw foods. You don't really care. You want to kind of just like crash and burn by the time you're 50. You know, and have fun now. 
It's up to you. But <clears throat> I think you should make the wise choice and go raw. I really do. I, I'm doing it. It took me two years to get a full struggle out of the way. I had to literally give myself two years. Mom, can you take out my juice? Okay, I'm making a video for YouTube. But um, I can do that later. <laughs> he wants me to take out his tooth. Anyway. Yeah, you! So, that's what I'm Daddy. saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, Impressive. this is my dinner tonight, you know? Bananas. <laughs> I've gone bananas! I had four large bananas just now. I had a salad right before that with no dressing. I'm sorry, dressing. Lime and tangerines squeezed on top. You want to make it a little bit more fun if you're not following a high, uh, low-fat diet? And you should be because that's really the way you get better. But you would put a little bit of avocado in for dressing. You don't have to do that. You could do it once in a while. Don't do it every night because then you'll, you won't get the benefits. Anyway, I had durian last night. I'm still ill from it. I had so much durian, it was like ice cream to me. And I just uh, I can't deal with it. It's too much. Too much fat. Um, that's it. I'm signing off. If you have any questions, ask me. If you found this boring, too bad. <laughs> Ten minutes out of your life ain't going to kill you, baby. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.